Good yes. Enough. So first of all, thank you for talking to us. And so, how was the meeting, first of all, with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and what were the big points that were discussed with, uh, between uh, both of you? So it was an outstanding meeting uh, to, to meet with the Prime Minister individually this morning here in D.C. And, uh, you know, we spoke about technology and all the, the confidence in the policy reforms that's coming in India and uh, the great potential that, therefore, that India has uh, from an investment perspective. Uh, also, we would like to know that, uh, you know, recently various measures have been announced in India, a drone policy have been given an approval. Do you think this will give a major push uh, in this sector as far as investment is concerned? Absolutely. I think these are very laudable policy prescriptions and reforms uh, that the Honorable Prime Minister and his government has taken, and I think that will certainly uh, uh, catalyze a lot of uh, interest and investments in India. As far as Make in India initiative is concerned, what are your plans as far as boosting or increasing capacities uh, in India as far as various other sectors, uh, specifically the drone uh, initiative? So there are a lot of uh, potential areas of collaboration that we are in discussions with. Um, I think uh, writ large U.S. companies and uh, many of my colleagues at U.S. companies see India as a, as a very promising destination from from a two-way standpoint, not only technologies and investments in, but uh, coming back to the U.S. So I think it's a win-win. The policies and reforms that have been put in place by both countries, I think, benefit both countries, and that is why this is a sustainable model. During this visit of Prime Minister Modi, we are, you know, listening to this word called critical technologies. A lot of focus is there on critical technologies. Uh, what are your future plans as far as uh, this area is concerned? If you can elaborate on that aspect as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, the critical technologies is, of course, technologies where one wants to leapfrog into the next generation, and not only the platform systems, but as well as the um, design and development of, uh, you know, various aspects of uh, the ecosystem, so that could include the maintenance and, and so forth. And, and so one has to look at the overall ecosystem and, and make sure that the um, trajectory is uh, on a path that leads to sustained cooperation. Various reforms have been undertaken recently in India that includes PLI, various structural reforms down there in India. Do you think this will give a major push to the investors uh, as far as confidence is concerned to invest there in India? Absolutely. I think that these PLI schemes and, and, and I just got to know a, a, a lot more on the, the kind of reforms that have taken place and certainly this will give an impetus for U.S. companies to invest more. How do you look at Prime Minister Modi's leadership as far as giving a major push to the business between both the countries? I think it is thanks to his leadership that there has been so many policy reforms in the last several years that have uh, you know, made, made investors and those that want to collaborate with, with India have a greater confidence and the ease of doing business has certainly increased. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Shivakayatri Enterprises Distributors for Submersible Pumps Me Gruha Vyavasaya Parisramika Neti Avasaralaku Spiron Mario Corsa Submersible Pumps Mario Distributors for Water Softeners Himajal Arvo Plus Alkaline Water Purifiers Shivakayatri Enterprises 